AJ CAD team has created a new application for Autodesk Revit to export multi-layered frames of wooden walls, floors, and roofs to automated panel production lines. You will be able to frame walls, floors, and roofs in Revit using powerful wood framing solutions. Predefine different operations and rules to fully automatic high-performance production lines. Structural designer can make decisions in accordance with his competence on what operations should be performed before production. With the help of AG CAD's tools for automated wood wall, floor and roof framing in Revit, all you have to do is predefine rules and the application will do all the work from design and documentation to wall segment fabrication and construction. CNC exporters are separate softwares created by AG CAD for wooden wall and floor multi-layered frame export to automated panel production lines. This AG CAD software can be adapted for other production lines of timber frame prefabricated house industry too. When you have the Revit model created, you need to make a link between your wall type and the framing configuration. In these configurations, you can predefine settings for everything that you see below. You can create different configurations for frame, horizontal nailer, horizontal siding, secondary frame, vertical nailer, vertical siding, and even the wooden locks. Configurations can be used for your future projects and shared with colleagues so only one user from the company can create them. In the wall framing, you can predefine stud spacing, the amount of top and bottom plates, and offsets around the wall. In the opening framing, you can create different configurations for structural and non-structural walls, also different configurations for different opening sizes. You can create different configurations for windows, doors, opening framing, window-window joint framing, and window-door joint framing when the elements are very close to each other. In the opening framing configuration, you can predefine the amount of king studs, a type of a header that will be used, the most commonly used headers created, but if you cannot find what you need, you can create your own custom header type. Also, the same goes for the top plate support. You can choose from our created types or create your own custom top plate support. Also, the same goes for the sill plate. You can also predefine the trimmers, other studs, for example top cripples and bottom cripples, and offsets around the opening. This configuration can be saved by your own name and used in your future projects. You can also predefine rules for L connections, start and end connections, also V and T connections. Most commonly used connections are already created, but there is also an ability to create your own. In bridging, nogging and blocking, you can predefine horizontal elements and how they will be distributed. You can also add a secondary stud system, additional elements, and finally the details. Now we can save the configuration by our own name and use it in our future projects later. Now we can frame the walls. I've created the main frame and now I will continue by adding the vertical nailers, secondary frame, horizontal siding and the sheeting. Now we can export these frames to production lines. For this, we have created CNC Exporters. CNC Exporter is an application for Revit created by AG CAD for wooden wall, floor and roof multi-layered frame export to automated panel production lines. It includes standard and advanced export settings as well as export functions. In the export setup settings, software users can predefine element identification rules, which apply while numbering frames. This information will be placed to every framing member. Multi-panel feature allows several wall, floor or roof selection from the Timber Frame House project for export to a single CNC file. Also, 
Revit users can export only the mainframe of prefabricated house module, mainframe with external layers or all layers. In the advanced setup, software user can predefine advanced element identification rules, membrane and sheeting nailing, sheeting and siding trimming, and position marking settings. The advantage of these advanced settings is that structural engineer can define fabrication operations instead of production line operator. These settings are open to the user and all fabrication or machine changes can be easily adjusted by him. Under the membrane nailing, user can select which side of frame module should be performed, then what offset from edge, nailing spacing and nailing type or device index should be applied. Under the sheeting, user can predefine nailing parameters like minimal offset from the side edge, nailing spacing, and etc. Under the sheeting trimming, user can predefine which sheeting trimming operations will be performed, the same as control codes and tilt angles. Under the position marking, software user can predefine whether positions of vertical and horizontal nailers should be marked. Under the siding trimming, user can predefine which siding members should be trimmed and what should be the control codes and tilt angles. All these advanced settings can be saved and used for future projects. Finally, Revit users can export selected walls, floors and roofs from Revit model to, for example, Wayman web file with just one click. This file can be opened and reviewed using Wayman Viewer and later published to production line. Multi-panel feature allows several wall, floor or roof selection from the Timber Frame House project for export to a single CNC file. As a result, three different walls were exported to a single CNC file for prefabrication. Later, during the manufacturing process, top and bottom plates will be cut to separate walls. The result can be seen in Wayman Whoop Viewer. In the Wayman Viewer, Users can also see all operations in detail, including sawing, drilling, trimming, marking of every frame member. For example, saw polygon is marked for the window. In the shop drawing configuration, we can predefine what views we are going to make, set different view templates for them, dimension styles, tags, and so on. Also, what schedules are we going to make and what tile block are we going to use for the sheet. Then, we can create the frame assembly. All views with structural framing tags and dimensions, as well as schedules, were created automatically. Now, we can compose a sheet, set it as a template, and all sheets for other wall assemblies will be created automatically. Go ahead and download free trials of AJCAD wood framing tools. All AJCAD developed Autodesk Revit add-ons and BIM solutions are accessible for Tools for BIM Dog dashboard, a new separate interactive window in Revit that works like the project browser or properties window. Visit AJCAD.com, download Tools for BIM Dog, and finally, fill in the form to get the trial and the activation code will be sent to you by email. CNC exporter for Revit can be trialed upon request. If you would like to get a free trial, please contact us.